Our goal is to maintain a Lightroom catalog between two or more PCs. In this example, a desktop and a laptop. Keep all files in sync, including all edits. The laptop uses smart previews for mobile exhibition and editing. While traveling, new photos are uploaded to the laptop for immediate processing. This system also serves as a form of file backup. Original RAW files are stored on a desktop PC with its large hard drive. Another copy of each file is backed up on removable hard disks with the same directory structure. Optimize the Lightroom catalog on the desktop, then copy the same catalog file to the laptop. Connect a backup disk to the laptop and generate smart previews. The laptop uses smart previews for display and editing, allowing all photos to fit on its internal drive. This system lets you edit files on either desktop or laptop and then copy the catalog from the editing computer to the other. It allows exhibiting any photo in your catalog from your laptop. The solution is optimized for the case where one mainly edits photos on the desktop but occasionally travels with a laptop. If simultaneous edits are necessary between synchronizations, then using Lightroom's Export as a Catalog feature for the edited files followed by Import Catalog on the other machine will preserve those edits. That summarizes the best way I have found to maintain all of your photos on two computers. The key requirement is maintaining identical directory structures for the RAW files in Lightroom's catalog. If you store your photos in C Photos on one PC, then they should live on C Photos on the other, or at least appear to be there. This system works well until you hit a hard drive space limitation. Perhaps up to a million smart previews will fit on a one terabyte laptop drive, so that shouldn't be a severe limitation. Desktop PCs may store several terabytes, so again, that isn't your main problem. It's the removable hard drives backing up your RAW files that present the first limitation, affecting those with 100,000 or more RAW files. We will discuss this situation after the more common scenario, where all RAW files fit on one desktop C drive and a single backup disk. For the purposes of this discussion, I use the term RAW files to mean the original photos. They may be of any format. I also say desktop to mean the faster, more capable computer, and laptop for the lesser of the two. Let's take the simplest solution, a desktop and a laptop, each with one hard drive, C. We plan on using the laptop for storing and processing photos while traveling, and also for exhibiting photos to others. All RAW files are stored on the desktop's large drive. We'll call that storage location C Photos. We cannot fit all of the RAW files on the laptop, so we will use Smart Previews. These allow both display and most editing in decent resolution. All of the Smart Previews should fit on a relatively recent laptop's drive. While on trips, the camera is downloaded to the laptop and the files are edited as necessary. After returning, the RAW files are moved to the desktop's much more spacious hard drive. We want to use one catalog containing all of our photos on both computers. The RAW files won't fit on the laptop's drive. How can we use the same catalog? Several things make this work. Our goal is to use the same catalog. The catalog references files at a fixed storage location on your PC. For example, C Photos 2019 DSC0001.nef. If the photo is not where Lightroom expects it, Lightroom doesn't work. You may search for and relink the photos, but this is time consuming. Instead, Duplicate your file system on all computers that you desire to synchronize. Assign a fixed letter to a USB disk so it doesn't change from E to G, for example, when plugged in at different times. This simple operation is performed using disk management. Disk management is accessed by right-clicking the Start menu in Windows 10. I recommend using a letter well down in the alphabet. M, Mike, for instance. So we go to the Start menu, right-click and go to Disk Management. It comes up and shows every partition that's currently on the laptop. We click on the drive we wish to change and then we right click Change Drive Letter and Path. I want to change it from E to M as so. OK. It's done. Close this. We look on the on the, this PC window and we see that it is now drive M. When this particular drive is plugged into this laptop it will come up as drive M. If it gets disconnected, it disappears, gets reconnected, it will initialize as drive M again. 
Note that this assignment is only recognized by the computer that performed the change letter operation, so it must be done on the laptop. It's a good idea to reboot the laptop now, although this is not strictly necessary. It should come back up with the internal drive C and the external drive M. Previously, I mentioned using the identical directory structure, or at least apparently using the same structure. We can fool the laptop into believing the external hard drives are actually part of its C drive. This sleight of hand is performed via a command built into Windows named MakeLink. MakeLink generates a link from one drive to a folder on another that appears to belong to that first drive. If you reviewed my companion video, Need a Huge Hard Drive? You saw how MakeLink convinces Windows that several disks are all part of one huge drive. There is a card to this companion video at the end of this video, and the link is in the description. We create a link on the laptop C drive's root directory named Photos. To the laptop, and importantly, to Lightroom, this appears as a folder named C Photos. This link targets the external hard drive containing backup copies of your RAW files. The Lightroom catalog now believes that both computers have the same directory structure. Let's generate the junction link on the laptop that makes it believe the RAW files on the backup disk are located in C Photos. Let's get the command prompt and change the directory. Now, make the link. And there it is. Next, we plug the USB backup disk into the desktop and open Lightroom. Optimize the catalog. Navigate to the catalog, which is probably in C, Lightroom, and zip it. Zipping reduces its size by about a factor of 100. Copy the Lightroom catalog and all the RAW files to M Photos. Disconnect the removable drive. Back at the laptop, connect the drive and click This PC to confirm you have a C and an M drive. Copy the new Lightroom catalog over the old one, replacing it. Don't forget to unzip it, of course. Start Lightroom. Often it's more sluggish than normal on the first startup with a new catalog. Eventually it'll find the photos and each of the subfolders will ungray and display the photo count. Just like on the desktop, all the photos should appear installed on the C drive. After confirming that Lightroom has discovered all of the original photos, select one of your folders and generate smart previews. In Lightroom's grid view, click Library, Previews, Build Smart Previews. If it doesn't ask you if you want to generate one smart preview or all, then repeat the preceding step. Select Generate All. Your laptop will chug away for quite a while, reading the raw files from the external disks and writing smart previews to the laptop's internal drive placing them in the same location as the Lightroom catalog. When done, check that Lightroom has actually created the requested smart previews by looking at the histogram window in the upper right of the screen. The text should say, Original plus Smart Preview. Then select all of the remaining photos and generate the rest. This process may take several hours. You notice that I advise checking on progress before beginning time-consuming operations. I found that Adobe Code has more than its share of mysterious bugs, so if something has gone wrong, I want to know about it before walking away while expecting things to be processing, only to return to great disappointment. Once the smart previews are generated, you may disconnect the external drives and store them in a safe place. The laptop will automatically switch to viewing and editing the smart previews. So right now we have the M drive connected, and we say goodbye. We start Lightroom and it reopens that catalog. Here's the photo. We see that we're looking at a smart preview. We double click on it and it's just as if the photo is still there. The original is offline but this photo can still be edited or deleted in this case. You now have your files backed up. Two copies of the RAW file, one on the desktop plus another on the external drive, and a smart preview on the laptop. While the smart previews do not have as much detail as the RAW files, they're more pliable than JPEGs and are suitable for many uses. Your laptop may edit the smart previews of your entire catalog and let you haul it around and show off your work to others, in decent resolution. The resynchronization process involves optimizing the catalog on the desktop and copying it to the removable disk. Then copy all of the added folders and their photos to the removable disk. Connect the backup disk to the laptop, copy the new catalog over the old, 
and generate smart previews for all of the new photos. This probably isn't something you want to perform daily, but it shouldn't take too much of your time or effort. Regularly, and certainly before each trip, resynchronize your laptop to your desktop. While traveling, upload your camera to the laptop C drive and import into Lightroom. Don't try to import to C photos since this is not really a folder. Make a new one with any other name as desired. Edit your photos at will. Upon your return, copy your subfolders of new photos along with the catalog file onto the backup disk and transfer them to the desktop. If you didn't properly synchronize your files before leaving and have different edits on the laptop's catalog as compared to the desktop's, all is not lost. Take your folder of new unsynchronized photos and use Lightroom's export as a catalog feature. Check the export negative files box to copy the raw files as well. Store them on a thumb drive or your external drive. Use import from another catalog to write these files to your desktop's main catalog placing the raw files in the proper subfolder location on its drive. Or you could do as I usually do and ignore all edits performed on the road and simply move all raw files from the laptop C drive onto the desktop drive and start editing from scratch. How does one conveniently and rapidly synchronize the two computers when there are more raw files than will fit on the external hard drive? I'm glad you asked. By using a well thought out file system and the make link command, Multiple external hard drives may be linked and appear as one drive to the laptop so that searching for all of the files each time the catalog is updated is unnecessary. In my companion video, Need a Huge Hard Drive? You will remember MakeLink in my Lightroom file convention. All of my raw files are stored into a logical drive E photos with subfolders for each year containing numbered subfolders for each photo downloaded from the camera. This compensates for a limitation at the MakeLink function. The link must point to a separate folder, not a continuation of the folder containing the link. In other words, you cannot link F photos to E photos and access the file on F through E photos. That's because the link would be named E photos and that already exists. You could address the photos as E photos photos, but that's not the same thing. We solve this by logically breaking up the photos folder into multiple subdirectories. I use the year the photos were taken as a reasonable breakpoint. That means I have large groups of photos, one per year. Smaller breakpoints are definitely possible, but a different link is required for each one, and this link must be made manually before the photos are uploaded. You could also organize your files by subject matter, for example. The goal is to have a large, rational group of photos that are easy for both you and the computer to find and organize. Now, to synchronize your photos in a single Lightroom catalog between two computers, the identical file structure for the raw files is required. If you access DSC0001 from ePhotos2001, subdirectory 0001, DSC0001 on your desktop, Lightroom will expect it to be at that same address while using the laptop. While you certainly can instruct Lightroom to find the files at G Pictures Aircraft, this takes time, effort, and must be repeated the next time you resynchronize your photos. You can maintain this identical file structure between your desktop hard drive and the external hard drives connected to the laptop by using disk management. Connect the external hard drives to the laptop. Right-click the Windows logo and select Disk Management. Click on the first external hard drive and then on Change Drive Letter and Paths. Change the letter, it probably was D, to the same letter as your desktop's photo depository. For me, this is drive E. Rename your other external hard drives as well. I recommend skipping several letters and use M, Mike, for the second external drive to avoid any future confusion with multiple hard drives on the desktop. Again, right-click the Windows logo. This time, select Command Prompt Administrator. Now generate the junction between the E and M drives. I'll assume you need to link to Photos 2017, Photos 2018, and Photos 2019, so we need three separate commands. Note that the link itself does not specify the E drive explicitly, which allows its use on the desktop where an internal hard drive is already named E. This will be important later. Now type DIR and you should see three new junctions that point to drive M. These three folders on M appear to the laptop as if they are actually on drive E. Unplug the external hard drives from the laptop and connect them to the desktop. They'll appear under different letters. Rename the second drive, the one that was M on the laptop, to M. 
the same as it was on the laptop. The first external drive may use whatever letter Windows assigns it. Copy as many photo folders to the first external drive as will fit. In my example, all years up to and including 2016 will live on this drive. Copy the rest of the folders, 2017, 2018, and 2019, to M photos. Note that you can do this either by moving them to the junction that is in E photos, or by directly moving them to M photos. Future additions may be written directly to the M drive without even connecting the first removable drive. The rest of the procedure is the same as with the single disk solution. I hope you found this useful. A link to my video describing the make link command in better detail is in the description. Thanks for watching.